Hello, hello, hello. Today is Sunday, February 19, 2023. Solutions of problem 164, which is a current flowing through a very thin ribbon. And then you're being asked to calculate the magnetic field. I got some very nice solutions. I always get perfect solutions from M. Durgan and from Carl Hansen. That is a given. This time I also got a very nice solution of Rafael Padilla. And I'm going to show you his solution because mine would not be any better. I think his is great. Okay, so if you're ready, here comes the solution to Rafael Padilla. Here are the solutions by Rafael Padilla to problem 164. The magnetic field due to a thin strip carrying a current DI with negligible width assumed to be one-dimensional, is easily obtained by Ampere's law. Clearly, I am not going to get anywhere <laughs> anymore into Ampere's law. You should probably all know about that. dB is mu zero, which is the perm permeability of free space, divided by 2p times di divided by x. Now divide the ribbon into strips of width dx, each carrying a current di equals i times dx divided by w. W was the width of the strip. And he calls that equation number two. Plugging two into one, we get equation number three. Integrating three between x and x plus w, gives you this as the final answer. And that's the result. That's the result of question one. So now I'm asking you to check your answer, which is always a nice way we do in physics. You make W go to zero, so it's no longer a ribbon, but it is simply a line. And when we substitute w equals zero in here, you get zero divided by zero. But there comes Hopital. <laughs> and you probably learned about that. Different shading upstairs and downstairs, we get this result. And if we now substitute w, e w equals zero, we get the limit, and this is then the limit, and you expect that, because that's Ampere's law. It means that if we are very far away, x equals much larger than w, the ribbon behaves like a current carrying wire a distance x from p. Oh, <laughs> I should have deleted his last sentence. Uh, I kept it in. He said, keep posting, professor. Love EMM because of your videos. All right. This was not a high school physics problem. Certainly JEE main and definitely JEE advanced. If you can't do this problem, don't feel bad, but study the solutions that may 
help you. Because the goal, for me, the goal of doing physics problems, bi-weekly phys physics problems, is to teach you physics. And don't worry about the fact about our friendship. Our friendship is always a given, from here till infinity. It is the strongest conservation law in physics. Over and out.